fed up and fired up. Across the country, thousands marched, demanding an end to violence against women. No more violence, no more hate. A wave of anger and frustration as protesters in Sydney made their voices heard. I think the government needs to declare this devastating thing that's happening to women as a national emergency. I'm here with my partner and her family because I believe that men need to do better in Australia. We won't take it anymore. Sparked by a troubling string of women being killed allegedly at the hands of men, including Samantha Murphy in Ballarat and Molly Ticehurst in Forbes. Organisers say this year one woman has been murdered every four days in Australia. We need legislative changes, uh, legal changes, but above all we need cultural change. But our government knows that we need to do more. In Adelaide, women, men and children stood on the steps of state parliament calling on the government to take action. It's just gone on for too long and like I say, we just need the politicians to step up. This is an epidemic that requires the full resources of government at all levels. A show of solidarity in Hobart too. Especially to young men to call out misogyny and call out abuse when you see it. The message both here and around the country is that urgent action is needed to deal with what's now being called a national crisis. No more violence, no more hate. The federal government has ruled out a royal commission saying it should focus on implementing its national policies. We've committed some $2.3 billion in measures uh, since we've come to office. We have a national plan to counter violence against women. Protesters will continue spreading their message around the country tomorrow with the Prime Minister joining the march in Canberra. Lydia Feng, ABC News. And if you or someone you know needs help, please contact 1800RESPECT by phone or their website.